Hmm. I love apples, but we don't get apples throughout the year. <laughs> yeah. I love strawberries and cherries, but they are available only in summer. Oh yes. Now it is winter season, but we can't get cherries or strawberries. Yeah, we get different fruits in different seasons. Do you know how many seasons there are? Yes, yes. There are four types of seasons: spring, summer, fall, and winter. That's cool. You are an intelligent boy. I also know a lot of other things about seasons. See, there are no leaves on the plants in winter. You are right, and in winter it is all white outside due to snow. Hmm. In winter it is so cold that we need to wear jackets and caps to protect our bodies. Absolutely right. Sometimes people burn fire to keep themselves warm. Yeah. And sometimes due to snow and cold we are unable to get out. I am really feeling bored. I wish I could go outside and make a snowman. I have an idea. Let's make a seasons chart to spend time. That sounds like a good idea. It will also help me for my class activity. Let me divide this in four parts for four seasons. This looks nice. Let me write what happens in winter season. Yes, you have covered everything. No leaves on trees, there is snowfall, it is cold and white outside. and we wear jackets and caps to save ourselves from cold can you help me with the spring season oh yeah let's close our eyes and imagine what happens in spring hmm. i can see myself flying a kite there are a lot of flowers around small leaves are beginning to grow back on trees The weather is very pleasant and lots of kids are playing in the garden. Fantastic. You really know your seasons well. In spring, plants come back to life and it is very colorful and it rains a lot sometimes. People carry raincoats and umbrellas with them to avoid getting wet. Now let's come back from our dream and note down all the things about spring season. Well, let me write it fast. Let me now imagine what we do in summer season. It's very hot in summer. I love spending time in a pool. The trees have lots of green leaves. Yes, the days are longer in summer and the schools also are closed. Yeah, we have long summer holidays and we also get to go to the beaches during our vacations. Let me write about summer on the chart. Now let's think about autumn. Ah, autumn season is also called fall season because leaves of the trees change color and they fall down. They turn red, yellow or brown and fall down to the ground. I can see a lot of pumpkins around. We celebrate Halloween in fall season. Let me complete the full chart. Great. Our season chart is complete now. I am very happy. We completed the full chart of seasons. But I am a little confused now. Come on. You know all about seasons, but still you say you are confused? Why? Yeah, I know, but I don't know why seasons happen. 
Hmm. If you know about this solar system, it is very easy to understand. I know that very well. I learned it from MakeMeGenius.com. Now, can you tell me the reasons for the seasons? There are mainly two reasons for seasons. First reason is the Earth's movement around the Sun. This happens due to the Earth's trip around the Sun. I learned that the Earth takes 365 days to take one trip around the Sun. Absolutely right. The second reason is the Earth's tilt on its axis. You can see the Earth's axis is not straight but it is tilted at about 23.5 degrees. Look here, the heat of the sun is coming towards the Earth. The lower part of the Earth, which is also known as the Southern Hemisphere, is getting direct sunlight. Yeah, the upper part is also getting heat and light from the sun, but it is lesser than the sun's heat and light on the bottom part of the Earth. You are correct. This upper part is known as Northern Hemisphere and see at this point, it is tilted away from the sun. Also, if you see clearly on the bottom part, the sun rays come directly, whereas on the upper part, the sun rays hit at an angle which reduces the intensity of the sun's heat. So more sunlight hits the bottom part and that too directly. The southern hemisphere heats up and gets summer. On the other side, in the northern hemisphere, less sunlight and that too is coming at an angle. So very less heat is available and hence there is winter. You have understood it very well. And do you know as the year progresses, the Earth's tilt changes to where the South Pole is pointing away from the Sun. Thus, there will be winter in this part. Oh, now I know. Our Earth's movement and its tilt are responsible for changes in the season, right? <laughs> right. You are very smart. You got it. Now let's go back and revise what we have learned about the seasons. Can we have a small quiz on seasons? Are you ready? I am always ready for a quiz. Wow! It's a tablet. I can play games on it. Yes, you can. But first, let's play the seasons game. You need to put all the pictures in the right boxes. If you do all correct, then this tablet will be yours. Wow, it is easy. Hmm, Christmas tree, snowman. This all belongs to winters. Very good. Let me look at things which happen in spring. Rains happen in spring, so umbrella is used. There are flowers all around. You are a smart boy. Oh, sun is there every day in summer and we do lot of water related activities in summer. And Halloween is celebrated in the fall season when the leaves change their color. Wow, you are my genius brother. Yes, I am. <laughs>